And we're getting to that point where you get a name system, they don't write the policies, and that could be happening here. The problem with this particular one, if you look at the track behind me, is that it's going to be moving over those islands, and it really has a tough time developing at that time, and so we're kind of tracking a blob versus a tropical system with a defined center. But as it turns north into the Gulf of Mexico, that's when we think it will start to try and get a little bit better organized, and that's this weekend. So let's start there. 70% chance for that to happen. That has come up from the Hurricane Center. They started at about 30%, went to 50, been at 60 for a while. Now they're up to 70. And that is the wave that we're talking about right there. Look at this. The clicker is working. I love it. <laughs> All right, some rain. Now, this is tropical moisture, so some of the rain's been heavy at times. If you look at a surface map, it'll put a low pressure almost right over top of Hispaniola over land. It's very close to land, so it's going to be tough to, to get stronger at this point. But you see these tops of these clouds here going in that direction? Same thing back there. That's outflow up above it. That is pretty decent for development. It's just having a hard time because of all this land, and it has to go over Cuba here. So that's, that's a saving grace for us right now. But winds are at 30 miles per hour eh, in the, some of those thunderstorms. It's not really organized. And it's moving to the west-northwest at 21 miles per hour. That's probably more important than anything because that helps us with the timing. Yes, spaghetti plot. Here it is. Here are all the models. This is 7 a.m. Sunday morning. Anywhere from right off our coast and getting stronger to three, 400 miles west of us southwest of us, right? So that's the spread, probably somewhere here in the middle. It's all going to depend. You're, you're asking a blob to form and turn right, and we just don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but we are getting closer and closer to figuring this out. You can see then sometime late Sunday night into Monday morning, overnight, I think, landfall, big bend all the way out through the panhandle of Florida. Here's the European model. Now remember, this model was recurving it almost all week long. Now it keeps it weak, Friday night, 11 p.m., Saturday at about 10 p.m. You can see something right in here. Still not well organized, but getting a little bit better organized. And then trying to close off the low here by Sunday at 4 o'clock. Remember, the wind's going around that way, so this is throwing all kinds of moisture our way Sunday. I think Saturday is actually pretty typical. Sunday, though, we will see the tropical moisture. GFS model, 9 p.m. Friday. Still weak, still over Cuba, right? But then again, same thing as we get into Saturday, 8 p.m., Saturday night. Sunday morning, look at that, that's 7 p.m. on Sunday. Did you see it come up right near our coast, getting stronger as well? That could be Tropical Storm Debbie. And then the models have been all over the place, zigzagging. The GFS kind of tries to take it right up the southeast coast as well. And that will likely change with the next model run coming in here. So what does that mean right now? It's too soon to say wind. And here's why I show you that. 12 mile per hour wind from the European model, 17 to 20s with gusts in the 30s right along the coast with the GFS. And that's just at this point, midday on Sunday, we could see gusts in the 30s and 40s if that model is right. So we're just too far out right now, but we're getting closer. Our local model that we show you every day is showing the center there over Cuba. This is as we get into Saturday evening, and then it actually does a pretty hard turn to the north and kind of throws a lot of moisture our way. Now that may be so close to the coast that it doesn't even develop as much. Bottom line, we're going to get some breezes, especially as we get into Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, Sunday night, and we're going to get pretty good amount of rain. This is the European forecast for rain right there, and you can see that, yeah, it's going to be adding up. The problem is this could linger into Monday and Tuesday, probably will linger at least Monday, but Tuesday there's a possibility that we deal with it there as well. So next name on the list, Debbie with a Y. Don't forget my social pages. I just posted a video update there. It's a little more in depth. Now closer to home, we have a weather impact alert. Really, I'm actually going to put one in for tomorrow as well because we'll likely have a heat advisory. Rain chances look similar, 50 to 60% for tomorrow, low 90s. But for Sunday and Monday, that weather impact alert is for this tropical system. Stay tuned. We'll be covering this for you all weekend long.